Hello guys and welcome back to another Tactic Tuesday. We're going to talk about the Fox Photography Light and we're going to talk about the Fox Horizon X4 rods. So, all I've got to say guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Right, so today I'll I did mention this in my um, in my in our normal vlogs, in our um, campaign series, and our um, new um, syndicate ventures um, that I'm going to mention about the photography light. Bought this. Um, I, I think I've had it probably four months ago now, um, and I've been using it. I've, I only got to use it twice. Um, so that's what I originally, you know, got it for in case we get night shots. Um, so when I purchased this, um, I said to George about it and um, saying it could help us our um, like photos uh, or even filming work. Um, we're not using it today, obviously, because we're in a in my kitchen. But anyway, so what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and see what you lot reckon to it. So when Ryan in the shop said about um, about a photography light coming in um, from Fox, I thought, oh, this could be interesting for our vlogs. Um, so when it came in, I, I bought it straight away, um, and yeah. It quickly to charge, it's got a night light on it, so this is what it looks like. Sorry if I wobbled the camera a bit because that this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's got the charging port, so that's the charging port there. If I can do it like that and like that, um, and then your power button here, and it has LEDs like this up down the side to tell you when the battery's getting low or when it's full. Um, it's got different settings. Um, oh, this is now I've got to remember off the top of my head. I oh, know the first one is going to be a night light, um, so you can use this as a night light. Um, second setting is a warm, sort of yellow, orange light, and a white light, um, pure white. And then you get a fourth setting, what has the both of them together. So you've got a mix of different colour, just in case you, when you set up your camera and so you can get it that perfect shot. Good thing about this, um, you, you, you get a bank adapter, you can screw onto a bank or a tripod if you carry multiple tripods for multiple shots. Um, that is handy, but the only downfall about what I wish Fox should have done was add um, a, bank, um, a bank stick adapter to it probably might put the price up a bit more, but I think a lot of people would prefer that than have to find a decent one or just run to a shop to get one. Or if you are buying it all together, at least you know now, get one while you're at the shop. Um, another, another good thing about it is, you, if you don't have um, your bank, bank stick adapter or a tripod, you can always, um, it comes with um, a stand on the back and you can always prop it on ba um, buckets and all sorts or you can even hang it it is very sturdy so it won't slip um, but I always put on some buckets I've always forgot my bank, bank adapter bank stick adapter I've always forgot it but I'll, luckily I'll take multiple buck, buckets anyway um, so yeah um, Another good thing about it is this, how well made it is. Um, the size of it is like a, if you drop it, it's like a, it acts like a, a shock absorbent, so you won't shatter the, let's say, screen, but it's not a screen, it's a plastic screen. But it won't shatter the light. Um, that's another good, good thing as well. Um, retail, um, because in that nowadays it range from uh, I'll say 22 to 25 quid. Um, you get obviously your charger with it and all that. 
But yeah, I've used it. I'm going to chuck some shots into the of of the shots what I've got with it so far. Um, and all it is really is basically getting the right angle of the light. Um, you can tell. I think it's one photo where you can see a shadow a bit. But if you get the right angle. Um, don't have it too close to him either, but if you get a right angle, you should you should get a perfect picture. Um, but yeah, um, not bad. Very, it's lightweight. It's not heavy, so if you add it to your um, gadget um, bag or you know your camera bag, your ink or weigh a ton. I'll never f when I carry it, I totally forget forget I've got it. So that's how light it is. Um, but yeah, good idea from Fox. Um, I don't think anyone else has thought of that. Obviously, you've got your bivy lights, but that differently. This is much more powerful than a bivy light. Um, see, that's that's my mode. It look, it don't look bright, but that it will when you're in the dark. Obviously, on the bank, um, then that's your warm colour. It might be bright um, on the camera, but that's a warm colour. It, it depends on the con um, weather conditions or what you're dealing with. Um, next one, if I get it, there we go. You've got your white. You can see, you can see the your the LED strip. You can see, you can see the your the LED strips in it, through them. But you watch this, then. You've got the best of both worlds. Let me, there we go. You can see you've got the orange of prank, well, not pranked them, but showed in my mate's faces when they came round, just to give them a bit of surprise when I first got it. Like I say, lovely little thing. For the price, you can't complain. Um, and yeah, I'm, I've used it, um, not for fish shot, I've used it for camera shot as well. And I think there's one vlog you can see me do a night video with me um, using this as a light instead of my bivy light because the bivy light's still a bit dumb when you got it above you. I didn't want it that, I wanted it straight in front of me so you can see my, my face a bit better, even though it's not pretty. <laughs> but yeah, so sorry it's a bit, a bit over the place. We're trying something new, as you can tell by now on the vlog that. We've got two cameras on the go, and I've got a mate, um, Dan, he's um, helping out today. Um, you've seen, he's, um, we've mentioned his um, Instagram and all that on, on the end of vlogs. So yeah, he's helping out today. So, like I say, I'm probably as a light instead of my bivy light, because the bivy light's still a bit dull when you've got it above you. I didn't want it that, I wanted it straight in front of me, so you can see my, my face a bit. Fishing company has just um, for bring this out. Oh, and another good feature I for, totally forgot it's waterproof. So you don't have to worry about if it suddenly downpours, you can leave it out there and it will not get wet. I've had, when I've had fish um, or filming in the rain, I've had it out in the rain a little bit, not a problem. Um, so yeah, but I never, this has never fully died on me. Um, um, not, I've done two sessions. Um, a 48 hour session, never died. It's probably got, the time then the session, half a battery left. Um, so, I say you can push for doing three nights without charging. I might have tested it, maybe I could test it. Um, we'll soon see. But winter months, it's going to obviously change because obviously it's dark early, so it could vary. So, where it's from two, two nights, um, to half a barrel, it could be half a barrel in one night in the winter nights. That's what I'm saying. So it could be, so a full charge be two nights instead of probably three nights in the summer. So um, that's it for this. And um, good product. And go and get yourself one if you haven't. Um, yeah, handy to have. So nice one. So. That is the photography light by Fox. I'm now going to talk about my second review of my X4 Horizon X4 rods, fully cooled candles. I, 
I said I'll bring one out. I can't remember how long ago this Catholic Tuesday I brought out about them. But now, but now we'll go over what, what they're like and how they form. So I said that when I when I'm gonna test, I want to test for the like casting, how they feel casting, um, um, how what's because I know this sounds stupid, but sometimes rods don't perform with the right lead. Sometimes you, you probably everyone said, oh yeah, you, you can, can cast with any lead size, but it's just what you feel comfortable with. I find um, that a three ounce lead for a three pound test curve rod for that works really well for it. Um, so that's what I've gone for. Um, I've dropped down leads if I use the solid bags as well for it. So first, when I first um, started casting, um, it's obviously when you've got new rods, it's like um, learning, well, getting used to a car, for instance, or a bike, because um, it's different to your old ones. Different from a 10 foot, I had 10 foot for about two years, then I went on to the 12 back again, but different sort of um, to my old 12 foot. So now I've got these and I've got it just how I like it. Um, I noticed. Um, they, they're not stiff, they're just perfect, it's nice whipping action, but they, you know you're not going to do any damage to them, because you, you have that confidence when you feel the rod straight through, when you punch it. Um, I've even hit out a um, fair distance with them um, on this new syndicate I have, I mentioned to an angler, he goes, oh God, that's quite far, but it, I feel confident in it. Um, using an um, 18 pound main line, um, the sex and at the set with it, um, the Fox line um, as well. And um, I was going to upgrade my reels for it. I was going to upgrade them to like an FX11, but I've still got my FX9s on them. Um, so that's what I've got on them at the minute. Um, like I say, you can feel the bottom very well with them as well. So it's not too, it, it's not too soft because and you can feel it nicely as it hits. I've hit my spots lovely multiple times. Um, another thing what I, like, what, what I like about them is the finish of them. I said that, I'll just, I'll say that in the first review, the finish is wicked. Um, but yeah, another part, um, what I was gonna mention that um, playing, when I've got playing fish on them, um, Definitely that new 33 what I had, um, God, that coped with it. That was bullied, that, that was coping very well. Um, when when I was playing the 33, when it was kiting to my left, there were some brambles and the line was probably about two foot away from these brambles while going into the water. I absolutely start, it was squeaky bum time, basically. Um, and I, yeah, I, well not bully, but I'll put a bit more pressure. That rod, how that performance, unreal. That was bend, it was bending in half basically, but the strength and the, the trust in it is unreal. Um, and I hope so for that price we're paying for them for one rod anyway. Um, played it lovely, lovely under the tip as well. I weren't really pa um, panicking because some rods, when they're a bit too stiff, you, it's just that last stage of netting, um, people start to worry because it might be too much of a strength, uh, the test curve and hook pulls, but this one plays beautiful, it's like, um, it, I can't explain it, it just brings it in lovely. Get them to try, but what I reckon to them is that they're worth, um, like I say, casting short, short distance, long distance, perfect. Uh, um, but yeah, that is really what I think of them. Um, I have, I've, in this, you see some clips of me casting with them, um, and yeah, I really enjoy using them. Um, they even look good when you've got them on your on your alarms as well. Um, bit of a tackle tart, really, but they look they look, they look lovely. And um, like I say. They are worth it. Um, 
couldn't ask for a better rod. The best um, decision I ever made as well, um, from going from Daiwa, from my first sort of car 12 foot rods, now to, to Fox Horizon X4s is a major difference because I used to have the old Black Widows. They're still a good rod, don't get me wrong. These Horizon X X4s are out of this world and I will not hesitate by another lot if I had to. Um, um, hope this gives sort of idea. It's hard to explain a rod, um, even though you, you have to, it's all do with feeling with your hands and how you and how comfortable you are with the rod, not about, I know it's a bit hypocritical, hypocrite of me to tell you, but it's, you have to get there to try one. Even if you go into your local tax shop and they've got them, um, just you know when you hold a rod, just feel what you reckon. You, you probably feel sti stiff at the start, but then they're totally different. Okay. Um, the rings on them, they're, they're lovely. Not, I, I'm, I tell you what, I've never had um, line wrap round them. Um, while casting either every time because I used to be that's another thing I used to worry about is when I cast uh, for long distance or with a solid bag that is wrapped around the rings not that problem and they could deal with solid bags easy a lot and sometimes I've when I do solid bags so I love solid bag fishing and used other people's rods I always feel that they're going to break um, but with these um, I didn't have second thoughts at all on them, so um, um, that's my sort of idea. I know it sounds a bit messed up, me trying to a bit. Don't judge me for it. Um, that is that is just my view on them, um, and I, it's just getting back into film, and that's another thing as well. Um, but yeah, my Horizon X fours. So I want to say thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this new sort of setup. It could be happy, happen more in the future. Um, got another, got another review coming out soon. Um, I've got to juice it though, but it'd be another rod for you to to. Um, as you, as you all know, Fox have bought Spawn, um, and that they bought out a rod, a spotting rod, and. And they do all, they do all, they do three different sorts, and they are amazing. So thank for that. And, and this, this, well, I'll give you my view on it. I've used it a couple of times. You see some footage of that as well. Um, and then off there is one, there is one more as well is the X4 landing net as well. What's going to come out? So that's it for now. George isn't here obviously because he's at work. But I want to say thank you for tuning in um, and giving your time to watch this. Uh, if you like, um, like to subscribe, like the video, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. Facebook, we're out on Twitter as well. Um, and um, Dan's pointing out something. What, what do you want? Is a comment now? But I must miss saying. But yeah, and and another thing. Sorry, keep mowing on. We have got, have got a new thing we're on about doing the Fenton Carpenters podcast uncut. uncut. That's what we're going to go into and let's say, well uncut says it all so it'd be funny. What Look out for that, it'd be on YouTube and hopefully online to listen to as well. And yeah, so thank you again, catch you on the next one. Be carpy, carpy, stay carpy.